what if we could redesign this and that into multi-layered systems of mostly perennial plants? Okay. Create forests where every element in that forest is actually food. From under the ground to ground cover, you know, you start thinking about your, your, your green vegetables and, and you know, salad and stuff. Um, your herbs, right up to your, your um, artichokes and so forth, you know, big herbs. Your shrubs and bushes, the berries, all those things. Then your trees, what we think of normally as our orchard trees. Then the canopy trees, right? so nut, big nut trees, you know, pecans and chestnuts and walnuts and things. And then some vines growing up through all of that. You can then have a forest system which can sustain itself over a long period of time producing an enormous amount of food. Okay, that grain field that you saw earlier, that's producing in the US, that will produce about 1.2 kilos. In a mature forest system like this, you can expect to get around five kilos of, of produce per square meter. This is a, a, a little forest garden in New Plymouth that I came across when I was giving some talks earlier this year. Um, but there you go, there's what's in it. There's some figs over here on the left, some strawberries down there, ground level along with some pepinos, some pumpkins over there in the back, a nice big tamarillo, some runner beans going up that tree, and there's probably a few other things besides. But I came across this manual um, through my work that I do with uh, Tiger Polytech and the Center for Sustainable Practice in Monaco. One of my students last year who I teach social media to was this fellow Andy Cambius who his major project for the year was to create a food forest in Carlia Flat. And they got a 49 year lease with the local council, um, and they established the first 700 square meters, um, expandable out into tens of hectares. And he didn't just do the project, he actually wrote the manual for how to do the project on public land, community food forests on public land. Yeah. So I read it and went, oh well, that's no brainer. That's like paint by numbers because he laid it out so beautifully and it was it was impeccable logic. And, and so got together with a few friends on Waiheke and said, come on, let's do it. And so they all agreed and, and, and away we went. So I started seeing articles like this. It's the Christ, Christchurch District Health Board, the food of land for food forests in Christchurch. A, um, a group going to the White and local board saying, we want to put a food forest in the Auckland domain. Around this time, I, I got a. Um, I decided it was a really good idea to get the web domain foodforest.co.nz, which I got. And about two weeks later, I got a call from a, um, a farmer from Fielding, who said, "Oh, I want to put in a 10-acre food forest on busy road frontage, and, and use that as a model for having food forests on road frontages all through the country." And I said, <laughs> "Great, let's talk. Come on, give me the domain, but let's talk." And, and so I've been down and visited him and we went to the fielding um, local hall and we had 60 people come out, including the mayor, um, to talk about food forests. Yeah. So the, the interest is starting to grow quite substantially. Um, I just found out about this one acre food forest in Waihi recently. They planted it up in one day. It's part of an education um, institute down there. And then I, um, then I heard about this one, <laughs> which really, really got me going. Um, this is 20 hectares, that's 50 hectares, right? And this is a substantial um, example of what can be done at a commercial scale, growing food in a, in, a, in a system that mimics a forest and produces enormous amounts of food using perennial plants, minimal fossil fuel energy, um, and, and tremendous outputs. Just about three weeks ago or so, we had a three-day hui over the North Coast, it was oversubscribed. We, the, the room that we rented was good for 50 people, and we had uh, about 56 people register. So I had to turn six away because I knew that on the second day we'd also invited 10 people from the council um, who came along to talk and, and share some ideas with us and us with them. Um, and then at that event, we um, launched a, a new ZQA approved level 5 certificate qualification in food forest design which is starting in February next year. We've already got 25 people that have, that have registered their interest in it and we only need 6 to start it. So I think that'll go this year quite well. We'll do probably one in the North Island and one in the South Island in the second half of the year. 
Um, that feels so darn good to have that, <laughs> I can tell you, because this is, you know, by the end of this year, you, I, I guarantee there will be another 20 people out there who will know how to initiate, design, and implement, and project manage food forest projects. Yeah, so that's, that's our goal, is to make a, a, a farmer brigade of, of people who understand how to grow local food in ways that are sustainable.